Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to show you how to update Cobian Reflector, which is the update to Cobian Backup. When you run and check the log files after a backup is run, you'll see maybe in here that there's checking for updates and in red, even though it shows like it's an error, it says a new version is available. And it's not a problem, it's just trying to get your attention and let you know that there is a new update. So it tells you what the current version is, and once you go to the website, you'll see what the new version is. At the bottom here, it says you can download it at this address here. It's not clickable, but you can highlight it and then just copy that and paste it into your browser. Also at the top here, there's under Tools, Check for Updates. And it goes through, checks it, and it tells you a new version is available. Do you want to visit the website to download it? So you've got a few seconds to choose yes. Then you'll see it'll take you straight to the website uh, without having to copy and paste that link that we saw earlier. So if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see Cobian Reflector, and it tells you the latest version number. We'll just click on the name Cobian Reflector and then it shows you here that it's preparing the version to download and to click this link here. That will then download the file. It'll save it in your favorite browser and if you see it flashing at the bottom here like this is using an older version of a web browser, we'll hit run. Then you'll see it pops up with the installation wizard. So we'll just follow along, hit next. You have to accept the license agreement and hit next again. And you can leave the defaults here if you like. Hit next. And the default should be correct here. Running as an application auto start for all users is the best one that I recommend. And the volume shadow copy I also recommend in case any files are left open during the backup. You can hit next and then install. It's going to confirm that it's going to remove the old version first before installing the new one, which is really great. Then it starts up the rest of the services again, and you can hit Done. It then loads up at the bottom, and it shows Welcome to Cobian Reflector. So you can then open that as usual. And if you want to verify, you can click on Help and About and it'll tell you the current version that it's on. We can close that, go up to Tools, check for updates, and that should confirm that it is up to date. And that's all you have to do to update your Cobian Reflector software. And if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.